Somebody asked me a question there. I am running Sare Sati. <laughs> the most dreaded time of somebody's life, as they say in astrology, or rather in YouTube or in TV astrology in India. So what should I do during Sare Sati? <clears throat> And what should I not do? Because many times we keep seeing what we should do. But there are so many things which we also should avoid doing during Sare Sati. Okay. So, what is Sare Sati? Those who are new to Vedic astrology, you'll be wondering what's this. You might have heard this somewhere. Sare Sati is a transit of Saturn from your uh, natal moon. So, it means if you have moon in a particular sign, let's say Aries, and your Saturn in transit is transiting either Pisces or Aries or Taurus. So when moon when Saturn transits the twelfth, the first and the second from your natal moon, then this is known as Sade Sati. Sade Sati means seven years, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. So what does this mean, Sare Sati? You know, when you hear this, this has a very uh, negative connotation uh, in the astrology communities. So, and even within people who do not know astrology, they somehow know about this word Sare Sati. They will say, oh, we know, iska Sare Sati chal raha. he or she is running Sare Sati. Mm, anything happens, they will blame it on Sare Sati. Anything. They are having problems in career, okay. Sare Sati is going on. Marriage, Sare Sati is going on. Person is not having children, Sare Sati is going on. Accident, Sare Sati. Sare Sati is blamed for every damn little thing that happens. In fact, I know people who have been going somewhere and they, uh, I mean, they wanted to go and they forgot their keys. And they are like, oh, I'm running Sare Sati. So I forgot the keys, you know. Anyways, so... We all know that Sade Sati can be challenging sometimes, but it doesn't have to be. When is Sade Sati very challenging? When your Dasha is very challenging. So within that seven and a half years, the Mahadasha and the Antar Dashas, because you will run several Antar Dashas within seven and a half years. So it's very important you check the Antar Dashas and the Mahadasha also. And it can happen that you are changing one Mahadasha also or two Mahadasha sometimes. So it could happen that you were running Venus and when Sade Sati started, Venus Dasha ended. Then Sun Dasha started. Okay. And then it could happen uh, Moon Dasha starts. Okay. Or you might be in one Mahadasha. Or you might have another Mahadasha in between. Okay. So, so it depends on uh, which Dasha it is. So uh, if, if the Mahadasha and the Antar Dashas, they are challenging, then Sare Sati is also very challenging. Okay. But if the Mahadasha and the Antardashas are good, uh, they are indicating positive things, then what happens is, uh, your life will be good, uh, but there will be challenges which you will be able to overcome. But if the Dashas are not good, then you will not be able to overcome the challenges. Okay. So therefore, before you fatalize Sare Sati, you must check the Dashas. If you do not check Dashas, your predictions will fail without fail. Okay, so therefore, please check the dashas. Now let's assume, uh, let's ignore dashas and astrology. Let's imagine you have Sare Sati. And let's forget dashas. Imagine you have some free will, the, dasha, the dashas are a bit good, they are a bit not so nice, they are a bit empowering you, they are a bit pulling you down. So let's assume that the dashas are average, or let's assume that the dashas are neutral, okay. But when you are doing a consultation, you must check the dashas. Okay? But for the time being, we are assuming that the dashas are not having any effect. Okay? Imagine it's Sare Sati time and it's like the, the horn is blowing. Oh my God, it's Sare Sati. So what do you do that time? So now many times people say there are these three phases. The first two and a half, the second two and a half, then the third two and a half. And people say that there are different do's and don'ts for these uh, three uh, phases of Saturn. But in my experience, I have seen uh, you can have, but there is there are some themes which permeate 
the entire seven and a half years and that's exactly what i'm going to speak today okay and as usual if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to down below and if you want a consultation you will find my website down in the description section to book a reading with me and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him and apologies for the background uh, i'll be having the old background very soon okay so the first thing that you uh, should do during sare sati is have a strict schedule okay what does it mean to have a strict schedule strict schedule means you try to be realistic but at the same time you try to be optimistic which means you know that yes these are the activities which i need to do and you plan your day as if by thinking that yes i will be successful in all the activities but also you should have some time to relax in between the most the the, the only reason and the most important reason why people fail to follow their schedules is they do not have free time time slots within their schedule so people make schedules okay i'll get up at 5 by 5:30 i'll take bath then uh, by Six. I'll start doing my mantras till seven or six thirty or seven thirty or eight, and then I'll go to the office or have breakfast. So they feel they think that they are robots. Okay, they can just put time slots like this, and they they will achieve success. Well, it doesn't work like that. So that means when when you are transitioning from one major activity. major activity okay to another major activity you should have some break in between okay because if you do not have the break that time then when you are doing these activities the major activities you will take a lot of breaks unwarranted and you will spoil your productivity okay and at the end of the day when you have seen your uh, day the oh my day has been like, had been like this then you should sit down and see what are the things that i could do and what are the things that i could not do and you should see the things that i could do why could i do them what was that within me which let me finish all these tasks and the things which you could not finish you should also see what are what was that which was within me which did not let me finish these tasks many times there are external impediments because of which we cannot uh, finish something but most of the times it is our own inner weakness okay, which uh, does not let us finish things so therefore it's important that we see the impediments externally and also internally once we do that then we know these are our strengths and these are the areas where we have to invest more time and energy So this is the first thing. Have your schedule, and at the end, when you sit down and you see your uh, success and fail failures for the day, you should also realize that ultimately your karma will uh, have its effect. Which means, depending on your karma, you you and your actions and your free will and God's desire, the final result will come. Okay. so if you plan to do 10 things it may be possible that you end up doing 12 or 11 or maybe 9 8 7 or maybe even 0 you may not have any success in the day but it's important that you plan because if you do not plan then uh, if you fail to plan then you are planning to fail if you fail to plan then you are planning to fail okay and if you fail to plan then your uh, plan is your your failure is guaranteed okay because when we do not plan our mind has a lot of free free time free space there are no activities our mind doesn't have engagement okay so we always have a proper schedule this is very important during sare sati all the seven and a half days now uh, you should always have a schedule not only for sare sati but especially if you are in sare sati every day should be planned okay without fail this is this is something very important okay uh, do not uh, compromise with this so once you have a schedule then uh, the other thing that you should do is 
either in the morning or in the evening. Whichever deity you are uh, connected to, you should chant certain mantras or do spiritual practices. If you do, then what happens is your mind will be calm because the word mantra means manatrai, which that which delivers the mind from suffering, misery, and uh, sorrows, anxieties, sadness. So therefore, chanting mantras or any kind of reading of Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam or any other religious text is also encouraged. And when you do these, then what happens is you try and connect with the higher source energy, God. And then you receive empowerment. So then you are empowered to do things during the day. Okay? Because Sare Sati at times can make you feel that you really need empowerment. So this is something which you should do. And the third thing which you should do during Sare Sati is to fast. Weekly once you must fast. Okay? Uh, weekly once in the sense like if you if you're fasting on uh, Monday for example, then you should not eat anything from the dinner of Sunday to morning of Tuesday. Okay, Sunday dinner, Tuesday morning. Nothing in between. 36 hours fast. If you cannot, then take water on Monday. Whole day. If you cannot do with water, you need more. Then you can take fruits. If you can't do, then you take dry fruits. If you can't do, then you take Ekadashi food. Ekadashi. And if you still can't, then you can fast. So, if you still can't, then at least try to fast uh, till 12. Okay, so, it's very crucial that you fast because fasting will um, make your mind very clear and it will uh, set you uh, for the rest of the day. Okay. So weekly one day, you must fast. And if you're only fasting till 12, then maybe you should do it three days, four days like this a week. Okay. Or either either you uh, should skip your breakfast or you should skip your dinner. One of the two you should do. Okay. And if you are doing complete fasting, then one day is sufficient. Okay. Now you should do this depending on your medical situation and advice from the doctor. I'm not uh, encouraging that you keep fasting and you pass out. Okay. That's not what I want you to do. Uh, do, do it as per your level and as per your capacity. Now, the next thing that you should do is you should always maintain the highest of hygiene. Do not wear clothes which you have already uh, which you have already used uh, for you know, wearing or for anything you know, like making videos or you no. Know. Yeah, of course. If you have if you are wearing something for just one or two hours, then maybe you can use it again. But if you were wearing something for the whole day or even half a day or two, three hours, then please do not use it again. Okay. Or any clothes, uh, if you're using it to wipe something, you know, your table or anything, cleaning your car or something. So always wear or use fresh things. Okay. Always, especially when it comes to clothes. And uh, it's very crucial that you do, uh, you do take bath as the first thing in the morning. This is the next thing you should do. Why? Because when you take bath, cold water bath especially, again, uh, under supervision from the doctor, then what happens is your uh, sympathetic nervous system gets activated. That, that makes you energize, that energizes you for uh, the day. Actually. And then you will realize that you are able to be more focused and more productive during the day. So avoid taking hot water baths during the morning. Avoid doing that. The lukewarm water is decent, good enough, but best is if you can take in cold water. Okay. The other thing that you should do in Sare Sati is, um, or, or, or rather the thing which you should avoid during, doing during Sare Sati is, you should stop eating in between. So for example, you just had a meal, your breakfast, and then you are having lunch, then you are having dinner. Do not keep keep grazing. Uh, like, have you seen cows? They're always grazing something, okay? munching. So 
So because then what happens is you cannot be focused. Okay, this is huge. This is big. Do not just don't keep eating. Throughout the day, you may say, oh, I'm just eating, having this chewing gum, or I'm just having some, you know, chips, whatever it is. Try to be disciplined with food when it comes to sare sati. Okay? Always, of course, but especially when it comes to sare sati. Now, apart from this, there are so many other things which you should avoid. Okay? The number one thing that you should avoid is negativity, negative news and negative people, because... The fact of life is Sare Sati can be negative sufficient. It's why to put on more negativity. Why? Do you want to be happy or unhappy? Nobody likes to be unhappy, right? Yet we end up doing things which make us unhappy. Yet we end up seeing things which make us unhappy. Yet we end up talking to people who make us unhappy. So stay away from gossip and gossip mongers. They have a problem for every solution that you offer. You'll find many people, you go and talk to them regarding anything. They have all the suggestions of the universe. According to me, you should do like this. In my opinion, maybe that is right. I think you should have done like this. I think he, he should have done like this. I think she should have done that. I think they should have done that. <laughs> so, stay away from those people who are trying to all the time question you, doubt you, pull you down, show that you are... You would have been better if you have made that decision which they they wanted you to make. Okay. to kaha tha aisa karo, this kind of people. Or uh, some people who are uh, encouraging you, but just in your face. Okay? Or who are over encouraging, you, which means you have so many bad habits, you are uh, screwing it up in life. And then they are still like, oh, no, you are nice. You know, you are good, actually. Yeah, you are good. Keep doing what you are doing. You know, life is about struggle after all. No. Two categories. Those who over glorify you and those who always criticize you. Okay. Now, uh, I'm not speaking of criticism in a healthy uh, sense here. But when I say those who criticize you always, I mean those people who are deliberately waiting, when will you do that one mistake because of which I'll pull you down, okay? Now, if you cannot avoid them, then reduce the time that you spend with them. And if you can avoid them, then best is you avoid them. Then the news, all the time, nothing good in the news. Always showing dead bodies, nothing else. News, say one of my shiksha gurus, he once said, what is news? He said, news is old things happening to new people. Should I repeat, news is basically old things happening to new people. The same old, boring, materialistic stuff is happening, but to somebody new, somebody is winning elections. They are always winning elections, right? But some new person won at this time. Or maybe some new person lost the election. Some new party won the election. But some new party lost the election. Okay. Or maybe some old party won or old party lost. But ultimately, does it change anything? Which party is ruling? Because no, because the political leaders of today, they are devoid of spiritual knowledge. Because of which they cannot, even if they want, they cannot help people. First, but before that, they should at least want, right? Which they don't. Because the uh, politic, because the politicians, not all of them, of course, there are good politicians, of course, but most of the politicians, they are wanting power and all this. Now, why do I say this? Do I not like politicians? No, I am not saying this. This is said in the twelfth canto of Shrimad Bhagavatam. Okay. Nobody is wanting uh, to become a politician to help people. They just want to grab power. And bank, borrow, steal, it's just like any other profession. Okay. So, therefore, it doesn't matter uh, which party or which candidate you are voting, all of them are almost the same. That is why you see governments keep changing, parties keep changing, but people do not change. Their lives do not change. They were miserable, they are miserable, and their next generations will also continue to be miserable, provided they uh, make some serious changes in their life, okay? 
So therefore, um, try avoiding negativity. Okay, negative magazines, right? negative videos. Okay. Try to be aware of God and spirituality. This is huge. Or sare sati can be overwhelming sometimes. Okay, and of course, at the end, what you should do. The most important thing in Sarasat is to realize that my best may not be the best. Should I be my best may not be the best or my best may not be the best. Which means you may do everything that you can, but you may still fall short. Not by this much, way behind sometimes. You may feel, oh, you did so much, but nothing happened. Yes, that could happen during Sarasat. So that is the time you realize that there are powers which are much beyond you. Okay? There is your karma, destiny, and the desire of Lord Vishnu ultimately. So therefore, do not criticize yourself, do not downgrade yourself or other people if things are not going as per your wish. Understand that my best may not be the best. Okay? My best may not be the best. We hope that our best is the best. We can just hope, but our best may not be the best. Therefore, understand that the only thing that I can do is give 100%. And lastly, 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 last of the last, you may not be able to give 100% every time because you are human. You are not a machine. You are not a robot. During Sare Sati, you will fall sometimes. And you will still get up and it's okay. <laughs> Don't think that you can be perfect. You are not Lord Narayana. You are not Hari. You are not Vishnu. You are not Krishna. You are not Ram. You are you. <laughs> so you may not be able to give 100%. 100% of the times. 100 out of 100 may not be possible. Always. You may be able to give 100% today, tomorrow. But maybe day after tomorrow, you can only give 50%. And that's okay. Yeah. But try to see that you are utilizing your time properly, giving your best to whatever extent you can. Give a tough fight. You may not win, but at least the fight should be tough. You may give 80% of the fight, but for that day, that 80% should be your 100%. Because some days you will feel very low, you will feel very miserable, you will feel very empty, you will feel very depressed. Then you are like, oh my God, yesterday I did so much, today I just can't do anything. But you could still do that something, maybe 5% of what you did yesterday. But for today, it is 100%. So in that sense, give you 100%. But do not compare yourself with anybody else. Okay. So I hope this helps you uh, to... Uh, go through and grow through Sarasati. So just don't go through Sarasati. Grow through Sarasati. All right. Thank you very much. And if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And other videos on Saturn and Sarasati, I'll be putting them here. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find him. And if you want a consultation, my website is down below. Thank you.